He's internationally recognized as a famous artist. Absolutely. We're very fortunate to have uh, Jabril Ndoy um, here with us. He is a he is. He's from Senegal, and you're you're world renowned as an artist. And, and you're going to show us some of your pieces today. And I'm happy to be here. It's a great honor for me to be here. That's and great. Uh, so, what got you started in this? Did this something that you were self-taught, or did you go to school? Growing up in a village in West Africa, I decided to walk away from too much academy in my technique. I use what we use, what we are taught at school to write with. Okay. To do art week. Ah. To, to do hard work with it. Okay. Were those the only available tools for you? To it's just it's just a choice for me to show that no matter where you are living in the world, no matter where you are from, you are able to create anything you want with anything you want. You can make beauty out of without anything. Without depending to, you have to have all what is being sold in our supply store to before you have to do the work. It's art is from your heart. The tool is just the medium. It can be anything. Right. And to, to me, uh, when I look at the village in Africa, most of the people, they grow up with huts. They grow up farming. People grow up saving their family cooking with firewood. When I'm doing wood burning, I am smelling the village scents, the scent of the village, because I am just burning without oil painting. That's deep. Really and uh, that is uh, the whole idea of my creativity. Tell us about the pieces that you have up here. Okay, the piece I have here, this is, the theme here is the blind. In Africa, we don't have what we call here the place, a nursery where the blind people are living. They live in the family. They live in the family. Right. They are part of the family. And here, this is a group of them standing. Everyone have a stick holding it. And the stick is like the eye. While they are conversing, you can see the head is more mobile because they gesture. Okay. They cannot see, but the, from here to the bottom is is still. This is created with a pen. All pen, yeah. Uh, colored pen. Ball, yeah. Ball ball point point pen. Yes, and the ballpoint pen when I work with it, I don't erase. It's one way. You just right. you just yeah. you, you just you just give yourself as much patience to work with it. That's amazing. So how long did it take you to create that piece? This one take me a week and a half. Wow, it's beautiful. Tell us about this piece. This is wood. And now what kind of wood is this? This is birch wood. Birch. Birch. Okay. birch. Now you, you, use you go tool. out and you get some, uh, you go to home, you know, uh, or no, office depot to pick uh -huh. up these uh, writing utensils, right? It depends to, <laughs> to, it depend to the store. <laughs> gotcha. Um, like it's hot. And what I need, I work with different heat. One pen can give me 1,050 degree. Really? One give me 950 degree. One give me 750. So you get variations of color from each yes. soldering tool? Is that a soldering tool? It's, it's, it's just a regular wood burning. Wood burning tool. You see what I'm taking here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm working on something, let's say the braiding here, I, I work with a tip would look like a needle. Mm. Very fine. Yeah. Mm. Then when I'm walking, the tip will be like this, like 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 a pencil. Mm. You go straight on the surface. So right. you want a wider or more narrow tip depending on what you're working on on your piece. The the narrower one right. is to right. do the right. line, but the wider one is like a hand, but it doesn't go like this. It goes this way. Right. It's Kinda flat. Like a like a, like a uh, calligraphy pen. Everything you, flat see, side. Yes, everything you see darker here is done by the one who is flat, this the is shading. This is amazing, though. This is amazing, the detail that you've got in here. I mean, the, the, the color accents of, on the ears. The and scale. It's just amazing. It's can, just I, can I share with you something? Yeah, sure. The 35 years of working with the technique of the ballpoint pen 
before I come here, okay. allow me to be able to control this. Because with this, I don't erase. No, 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 no. You, you know. You have to get another piece of wood to start all over again. <laughs> Shipril, do you have a show coming up? Yes, I have one coming in April at the Acadia Museum. Okay. Okay. And right now I have one going on. It's a group show in uh, Culver City with artists from different nationalities. Because I like art show like that. I like the, the multicultural that born to be in a gallery or in a museum. And this is the group show I'm used to. All right, very good. Well, we Thank you for being, you being here. On, on, on our set with us and showing us the beautiful art that you I'm got. I'm very here. honored. Absolutely. So, thank thanks. you. And thank you for joining us today. That's a wrap. That's our show for today. Um, why don't you view us? And we have to thank some people, too. We well, want to thank Jabril, Jabril uh -huh, and, for being we on. Had, uh, we also have Steve, Steve Lamb was Steve on Lamb with was us. Here. We had um, Gladys Oliveras um, with Mount St. Mary's. We made our alpha paste, toothpaste, and Mary Donnelly, um, Mary, Mary Donnelly Crocker from Men Healthy. So we can make sure our teeth are healthy. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and we have some sponsors, too. We always want to thank our sponsors.